good afternoon and you join me in the cabin of the Rover 75 and we're doing this is project MG or project 75 part 2 and in this part I've been mainly extracting water from the car now the issue, the problem, problem where it is, is it's under the passenger seat, just down underneath that black vent for the footwell. Um, there was a pool of water, so I've used a pump, transfer pump, to pump the, the worst it out, and then I've started just using towels and cloths just to get the rest out. The carpets are sopping, but it's only in the back passenger footwell. So, and I know it, there's, there's issues with the plenium chambers and could it also be the sunroof where I'm getting a leak from. The boot footwell is fine and all the other footwells in the cabin are dry. It's just this back passenger, back cliff passenger footwell that was sopping so I've dried it out I'm going to put a couple of socks filled with cat litter in under the seat uh, un, under the seat and under the carpet just under that black footwell vent and we'll see what happens but if you have any ideas where the leak could be coming from if you own a Rover 75 um, just let me know in the comments below where the leak could, leak could be coming from so I can start to investigate so thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and I'll catch you in a future video farewell well it's been two days since we last looked at the water leak on the rover and I've just pulled the socks back from under the carpet under the passenger seat and it's actually done its job Definitely, carpet has dried out all a wee bit, and the floor seems drier underneath. So I've put another couple of socks in, cat litter again, and we're going to check back later on and see what happens. And we're back again for another day. Um, just check the carpet again on the car, and I think I've solved the leak. I think it's been a historic leak, I don't know yet, um, because it doesn't seem as wet, but I'll just show you something now. That's just another sock, wet, sopping sock, uh, that I've taken out from under the carpet in the Rover. Um, the cat litter's doing its job, so fingers crossed that the leak might have resolved itself or it, as I say it was a historic leak it's maybe been fixed but they've never lifted the carpet to find out so what I'm going to do is that's better, I've got some light now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check back in a couple of days time um, and see if the leak has resolved um, if the carpet before is dry because I've just given just went over it with a cloth and it was a bit damp so I've just dried it off so I'm just hoping maybe as I say it was a historic leak it's been fixed and we'll see what happens but I'll catch you in a future video don't forget to hit and like the subscribe button and the next job on the rover will be looking to replace the key fobs um, my main key that I was using up until about a week ago <laughs> the button just fell in on itself now I've seen a guide on YouTube so I'm going to buy a couple of fobs and switch the keys over to fresh new fobs so yeah as I said don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and I'll catch you in a future video farewell